New information on a brutal murder on the Lower East Side. Police have identified the man who was killed and dismembered. His body was found by his sister in a luxury condominium. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis is live on East Houston Street with the latest on the search for the killer. Jenna? Well, Dana, you can see police have the building here on East Houston Street taped off and guarded. We're told investigators have surveillance video of a person of interest entering the apartment with his face covered, but they're continuing to search the area for more video, which could hopefully get to the bottom of who did this. This is 33-year-old Fahim Saleh, identified by police as the man found dead in this luxury Lower East Side building. His sister went to check on him Tuesday afternoon and made the gruesome discovery of his dismembered body. I can't imagine uh, my heart goes out to his family. Uh, or friends, anyone who knew the guy. Greg Connolly was heading to do work at a nearby cocktail bar when he saw police going in and out of 265 East Houston Street around 3.30 p.m. Inside, police sources say a decapitated torso and other remains were found in black trash bags. It's frightening to that something like that could happen uh, in a nice neighborhood. Scary. According to police sources, a well dressed man was seen on surveillance video entering the apartment off an elevator, which opens directly into the victim's apartment. That man was allegedly holding a bag they believe contained an electric saw that was left behind. Sources say it's believed the victim was killed before his body was dismembered, noting there was lack of blood at the scene. Seems like that's a pretty secure unit, too, so it's pretty terrifying. I saw a young woman in the lobby uh, speaking with a number of police officers. Uh, very clearly, really, really distressed. Saleh was CEO of Gokata, a motorbike ride hailing service headquartered in Nigeria. The company tweeted, Fahim was a great leader, inspiration, and a positive light for all of us. We're told cops are looking into his business practices, suspecting a business dispute may be behind this, but the motive for his murder still remains unclear. Sources tell us the apartment was found in order, so robbery has been ruled out as a motive. Sources also say they surmise the body was packed in bags so someone else could come and dispose of it, but then the scene was discovered. But again, this all remains under investigation. We're live on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Jenna, thank you.